All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly test for belt tension. Uh, I like using this belt tension gauge because it is very simple and easy to use. It's an OTC gauge, uh, it's a belt tension. You can do uh, just about all belts with this thing, even HVAC belts. So, um, this belt that I put on here is a used belt. Uh, it's a belt that's been on the thing, but I had to do some work to this skid loader. And so now I just put the belt back on, and so we want to check the belt tension. So right here at the alternator, you see I have that big half moon bracket. That's where I can adjust for my proper belt tension. Now I already adjusted it, but the way this belt tension gauge works is you push the two belts, the two belts right along the two ears here, and as you push and open it, it tells you where it, it, it opens it up for the belt. And then this little marker here, the marker right here, tells you where you're at. So I'm gonna squeeze this all the way out, hook it onto the belt, and I'm gonna drop it down. And you can see here, it's in the black, which is sufficient, that's fine. This is a used belt. You see it's a little better than a used belt, so I got it tensioned just better. A new belt should be right around 120 foot-pounds, all right? But this here says it's at 100, so this is a good belt. All right, let's see, check for belt tension using the OTC belt tensioner gauge. It's pretty cheap, I think it's like 20 bucks. Um, everybody should get one if you're doing small stuff, lawn and garden, or if you're doing uh, automotive or heavy equipment. That's the video, belt tension gauge 6673 OTC. See ya.